Saddle on up, partner. Hang it out at the bar. I would like a beer immediately. Uh, We'll see what we can do about that. Vikings fans are hungry for another win on Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks. That is a team who beat the Green Bay Packers on this this memorable play earlier this season. Remember this one? What is wrong with you? That's the team the Vikings play against. No one wants to relive. We just did. We just did, and I enjoyed it. Touchdown, clearly. I hope whoever wins the game this Sunday actually deserves to win the game. For Vikings fans that are hungry for more than a win, I found a place to watch the game that is run by a longtime season ticket holder who knows what fans want at a viewing party. You want plenty of TVs, you want drinks, great food, and this Sunday, you get me, you, and Viking cheerleaders. (laughs) The name came from Poor Richard's Common House. Poor Richard's uh, Ben Franklin's alias name when he was doing all the bootlegging. We're here to celebrate the history of taverns. So what's this place like on a Sunday then, Viking Sunday? Very packed. Um, it depends on what time the game is, but generally a noon game, we get traffic, we open at 10. Everybody starts eating, drinking, and we crank up the sound, and every TV is on the game. And, and any Packer fans allowed? Yes. And we put them in another room in the back. And that's where they have their own little area, but the main part of the bar and restaurant is all like What are we making here, Eric? Uh, we're going to be making a uh, fresh pumpkin and sage ravioli. Okay. The fresh ravioli is gone here. At what point do we say voila? And do, you, do you say that for every dish? Do you say voila? I don't know if I have time to say voila every time. I see. But so, this time you got time. We got time. I wish you could smell this because it smells delicious. Mmm, that is terrific. I can see where this would be filling too. Can I dig in again? Are you busy? We're going to make a summit burger. He says, oh, we're going to make a summit burger. I'm like, hello. It's a half pound black Angus burger. The beer is actually incorporated into the mushrooms here. So we roast these mushrooms first. And the beer. A little bit more beer on top here. Put the Swiss cheese on there, steam it together. Look at, look, it's just dripping. Look at that. That is great. Now I know why you sell so many burgers here. Oh, my so goodness. Quite a few. That is unbelievable. I can, I can taste just a hint of that from it. That's what we like. Mm. This is kind of a special we run for our footballs, for our football specials in the weekend. We just ate a burger and now we can do pizza too. I am in love with this place. We're going to do Italian special. That's finished here roasting. Do I want to what? Do I want to try some? Yeah, I want to try some. Easy. And it's real tasty. Mmm. Thank you so much, Eric. We will see you on Sunday. Great, I'll be here. Thanks for joining us. Voila. Uh, was it snowing the day you went It was, it was. I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to try some of the different things that they have there, but I got to tell you, they told me they said they sell a lot of burgers. Yeah, now. yeah. I can see why. It, it really was one of the best burgers I've had in town. It's really, really good. You know, Summit is a particular beer that is so good in food around town. A lot of chefs are using Summit in their cooking, I and it's so. so great. I love it. Well, here.